Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a weird topic. We're going to be talking about whether or not using your pickaxe in professional play is cheating. Now hear me out, I'm not talking about just using your pickaxe normally. Obviously you should be allowed to do that. But there has been a phenomenon going around the community over the past several days. Everyone is talking about it. And it's definitely controversial. There's some pros out there who think that you should not be allowed to do this. It's considered cheating and there's other pro players out there who think it is necessary especially in the game right now now do you guys want to hear something that should actually be considered cheating let me tell you using G fuel in pro tournaments because this stuff will make you so focused now I'm kidding of course it's not cheating but if you guys have never tried G fuel right now is a great time to do so we are offering a 30% off sale by using the link down below in the description or in the comments you get 30% off with Whatever you want to buy definitely a great chance to try it out or to just get a really good deal and if you guys do end up ordering G fuel with this link let me know on Twitter I will be given a bunch of prizes and shout outs out so check that out guys but now let's jump back into the video before we go any further let me go ahead and explain to you what I'm talking about so in tournaments some pro players do not want to fight at certain times even though there is an enemy right next to them and they're almost guaranteed to run into each other and there will be a fight. So what some of these pro players will do, they will start jumping and swinging their pickaxe in order to show enemies that they do not want to fight them. Now there are a few different things that could happen in this situation. The enemy could either agree and start swinging his pickaxe as well and then you guys kind of go about your day just avoiding each other and not fighting or the enemy could use that against you and think, oh, this guy doesn't want to fight me. Let me go ahead and trick him into thinking I don't want to fight. And then they go and kill that player, which we will show examples of this actually happening in a pro tournament later. Now, I did mention earlier in the video that some pro players do think this is cheating and some pro players do not think this is cheating. And it kind of comes down to who you are. But technically, to the rules, this is considered either colluding or teaming, especially in solos. But another thing to note about that is the fact that this really isn't enforced by Epic Games, and we have never seen a player get in trouble for trying to avoid another player by swinging their pickaxe and showing them that they do not want to fight. It has never been enforced. And I think a big reason why Epic Games has not cracked down on it yet is because it is hard to enforce and track whether or not people are doing it but as I said certain players do frown upon it they think it's cheating they think it's scummy and they will not do it for example your fellow Arab on his stream yesterday he did run into another player who attempted to swing his pickaxe in order to avoid each other and Arab punished him for it by going and killing him and even said he was going to report him let's roll the clip Good gunner. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, this kid's actually teaming. If you don't team, you're bad. <laughs> he honestly you don't team in solos! Teach you a lesson, holy you teamer somebody clips that report him wow arab definitely did that guy dirty but it's his beliefs he actually thinks it's teaming and cheating he followed that video up with a tweet saying i don't care what you think pickaxing is teaming and as you guys can see he got a lot of likes and retweets and your fellow Arab is not the only pro player coming out on Twitter and saying stuff against pickaxing unknown army came out and he said this stop making me W key if you pickaxe at me you're dying cuz I'm not colluding so this was definitely an unsuccessful attempt at using your pickaxe in order to not fight each other but there have been successful cases in the past specifically specifically one in the Fortnite World Cup qualifiers and this was uploaded in a video a while ago by Bobby Bojangles titled number one Fortnite duo caught cheating in the World Cup qualifier finals question mark and judging by his like and dislike ratio it's definitely some mixed results 
This video was actually very interesting and I did enjoy how he went about it. He wasn't accusing them of it, he was just taking a look at the situation and trying to form his own opinion, which I think we should all do. Let's go ahead and take a look at a small portion of his video, roll it. In this video, we're gonna talk about an alleged case of collusion in week two of the World Cup qualifiers. I personally believe that this accusation is backed by direct evidence. I will not be deciding who is or is not guilty. This video is just to present the information that is currently available to us and I will try to give my own opinion as well. The alleged collusion was brought to my attention by a Twitter user named Young Thanos who posted a recording from the week two duos qualifiers. In this clip, two duos are fighting in paradise. OT Inspire and OT Thresh are against OT Spades and Wolfgang Crims. It's important to note that Crims and Spades place first in week two of the World Cup qualifiers. First, watch the encounter from Inspire's perspective. Notice how he is just jumping up and down, swinging his pickaxe the entire time. This is actually a non-verbal signal used in scrims to tell other scrim players, hey, let's not fight right now. Let's just leave each other alone and go to the zone. This non-verbal signal has been used in scrims starting since about a year ago. Back then, scrim players had to cue snipe each other and the point of scrims was mostly just to practice the end game. Early fighting was either heavily discouraged or not allowed at all. Scrim players rotating early and mid game would jump up and down and swing their pickaxes like you saw Inspired doing in the clip as a sign to the other teams that you're not a threat at the moment. In case you have any doubts that this was Inspire's intentions, here is his reply to the clip where he confirms exactly what his intentions were when he says, I pickaxed to let them know I didn't want to fight and we were leaving. The enemy team recognized this nonverbal signal, which is clear by their perspectives, where they stop shooting and return the signals to let them know they get the message. First, watch OT Spades. He runs in to start taking shots and he gets a hit immediately and then stops being aggressive. At about 6.02 on the replay timeline is when I think Spades recognizes the signal and tells Crims to stop shooting. This is clear in Klim Crims' replay where he stops shooting, walks forward into the open and starts jumping up and down while swinging his pickaxe in plain view. Spades then does the same right after. Alright, so after watching that guys, let me know what you think about this whole topic down below in the comments. Do you think it's cheating or do you think it's still necessary? Because that's what one person commented on my tweet earlier today when I asked, do you guys think this is considered cheating? And it was actually Benji Fishy who replied with that. Let's go ahead and take a look at his response and a bunch of other big pro players and content creators. Benji Fishy said this, it's literally needed in this meta to play good. If you don't do it, you get effed because of zone way too often. Crashy replied and said, It's cheating via the rules, but literally cheating? No, it's smart. It's an evolution of strategy in the game to give yourself the best probability to win. If the other players feel the same, then so be it. The camping rusher kept it simple and said, definitely not. It's Jerian said, until someone gets banned for it, people will keep doing it. And then LG Beaks replied and said, yes and no. So we definitely got some interesting and mixed responses from players on Twitter, but I wanted to ask you guys, my community on YouTube, what you think about the topic, I said, do you think swinging your pickaxe to enemy teams in tournaments to signal you do not want to fight or avoid each other is cheating? And we had a total of 33,000 votes. 23% of you guys said yes, it's cheating. And then 77% said no, it is not cheating.
And to put that more into perspective, roughly 8,000 of you guys said, yes, it's cheating. And then 25,000 of you guys said, no, it's not cheating. But for the most part, a lot of you guys answered the poll before you watched this video. So let me know down below in the comments if your opinion changed or not. Do you think it's cheating or do you think it should be allowed? I'm definitely leaning towards saying that it is not cheating, but I can see why some pro players would look down upon it and say it's a bad thing to do or it is teaming because I'm I mean, technically you're using someone else in the game who is not on your team, but I don't think it's going to impact the game that much in the long run. All it's doing is letting a couple of players survive longer by running away from each other. And to be honest, what if they just don't swing their pickaxes and avoid each other anyways because it is the smart thing to do. It's almost the same thing without sending the signal, so I don't think it changes the game enough to say it's cheating, but that's just me. Leave your comment down below, guys. If you do order some G Fuel, let me know on Twitter. I will be giving stuff away and shoutouts. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.